So hi everyone, my name is Ranjit Singh Bisle. I'm from India and I'm teaching in a government school Pari Devadi since 2009. Uh, in this pandemic, it was like, uh, it was post pandemic or uh, the post lockdown to us. A day, I still remember in the month of March, government suddenly announced that schools will be closed from tomorrow. And it was like a shocking to us. Oh my God, because exams, the term year end exams were about to start and teachers and students were preparing for that. And that lockdown really completely changed the scenario. It was like a mess everywhere. Students don't know what to do. Teachers don't know, didn't know what to do. Uh, but what I, what I thought, we have to face, we have to accept the fact and we have to go with it. As of now, world has accepted the fact that we have to live with this COVID-19, with this pandemic. It's a new normal thing right now. So what I did, because I already introduced QR codes in a textbook. So I asked my students right now, guys, this is the time we're going to have online exam as we did before as well. But this time the exam will be different. This will be year end exams and the paper, the online sheet will be different for everyone. So you cannot copy the answers of others as well. So it was like creating 30 different exam paper, online tests for my students and they actually know what to do. So they did it and they completed with A plus grade at the end of their school year. It was like a, a, a satisfaction to me because you know, we did hard work since, uh, since a year and students being working hard so due to the pandemic, I don't want my students to lose the, the marks and grades because it's very important to them. Because after the completing my school year, they have to join the high school. So there they have to get the maximum marks to, to get the new school, well school. So they have to attain the good marks. So my students could do that. The QR coded textbook really helped me and my students to continue their learning process, even though in this pandemic. I have embedded the video lectures, audio formats of the poems, and after that, they will get the question papers. So if someone tried to click the video, I could get how long the video was and what was that span of attention. And based on his attention, if he have moved it forward or just watched it, I can change the data at back end. So I could understand the learning style of my students, the way they like to learn, the way they should learn. So I, based on their customized data, well curated data, I change it at the background. So every time when students scan the data, the scanned the QR code, they could find out that the new, new content and very well updated. So this is how I taught my students and I'm still teaching them in this pandemic. It's, it's not a new thing for students to use the QR codes in the textbook, but this time we used it frequently because earlier uh, the QR coded textbook were used when they were at home after the school ends, they can scan the QR codes and other things. But right now, entire learning process is now shifted from face to face to the QR code format uh, textbook. So it's like a new experience to them. And sure, they are enjoying because I, they get given me the feedback. Uh, so this is very new experience for us to learn. Now at the, at the school or at, in the villages, situation is becoming worse and worse. So it's not possible for me to go there and give them uh, activity sheet and other things. So more work is on, we're using WhatsApp platform to share our work, the activity sheet and other things. And later, the, they scan the QR codes and they continue their uh, teaching learning process in this pandemic. 